My name is Giulio Chini. I am a PhD student at the University of Bristol at the Alan Turing Institute. And today I'm going to present you some research that I've done in collaboration with my supervisors, Emmanuel Tranos and Levi Wall. In this research, we look at whether occupational segregation is a reality in the digital economy, and we do so by using natural language processing and UK web data. Since we don't have a lot of time together today, I'm more going to talk about questions than answers. And the first question is, what is the digital economy? Well, if you already thought about this question, good job. There are various definitions of the digital economy, some from the OECD, some from academics, and some from governments. However, there is no official one, and there is no official way to measure economic output in the digital. Statistically, agencies also do not agree on a standardized way to classify digital economic activities, but also people do not agree. So for instance, if your local baker had a website to sell his pastries, would you be participating in the digital economy? Who knows? What about your cousin's bracelet business on Etsy? Who knows? And what about your online bank? But this is not the only things that we do not know about the digital economy because we really do not know a lot. Governments are devoting a lot of attention to digital economic policy, even if things are still very unclear. And they're doing so even more since COVID shifted the space of work from the analogic to the digital. Popular discourse, especially from big tech giants, portrays the digital economy as the perfect environment where to do business as a meritocratic environment, particularly for those that are generally marginalized by the traditional economy, such as women and minority. There are, however, no data to back these claims. So if we don't know all these things, what do we know? Well, we know that the digital is not that different from the real world. It is well known, for instance, that the availability of knowledge content around the world is heavily skewed towards the Northern Hemisphere. The same reasoning applies to the participation on the production of internet content. For instance, we know that old people tend to participate to the production of internet content way less than young people. And the same uh, reasoning is valid with regards to uh, whether women participate. Uh, more than male, and this is not the case. Why do we care then? Well, we do care because we have no idea whether engaging with the digital economy can actually benefit marginalized individuals. And we also do not know whether it can actually benefit geographically marginalized individuals, such as residents of urban peripheries and rural areas. So, is this discourse on the meritocracy of the digital economy true or just rhetoric? Well, what we've done is try to identify digital economic activities, finally, through natural language processing. So since we, there are no clear definition of the digital economy, what about if we identified these activities based on the unstructured textual data that they report on their website? Well, in our research, our first step was to do some unsupervised clustering of website text and try to individuate digital economic activities through this technique. And then we merged the individuated digital economic activities with both demographic and spatial data on company ownership, which are provided by structured databases. This allowed us to answer questions in the first case about occupational segregation in the digital economy, in which we found that actually occupational segregation exists in the digital. So here we're looking at the distribution of companies by uh, ownership, and we're looking at whether companies in the digital are owned by white male or white females. In this case, the clusters that we individuated are digital marketing, recruiting and professional education, accountancy and bookkeeping, financial services, and so on. And what you can see is that generally um, businesses that are stereotypically associated with males and females tend to be still stereotypically associated with them in the digital economy. Thank you very much for listening to us. And if you want to contact me, these are my ads. Thank you.